हेलो आई एम नेहा शर्मा वेलकम टू आर स्पेशल प्रोग्राम डिस्कशन ऑन स्पिरिचुअल नॉलेज लेट अस स्टार्ट द प्रोग्राम एंड नो द व्यूज ऑफ जगत गुरु तत्वदर्शी सेंट रामपाल जी महाराज वर्सेस जय गुरुदेव पंथ सेंट तुलसी साहिब जी हैज योर पंथ एमर्ज फ्रॉम राधा स्वामी पंथ फ्रॉम आगरा यस इट इज ट्रू द गुरु ऑफ आवर स्वामी जी महाराज वॉज associated with this cult does a soul who attains salvation resides independently in satlok or gets absorbed in sat purush like a drop in the ocean all souls after attaining the immortal state enjoy the immortal status and acquire the form of same ocean a drop of water fell into the sea becomes the form of sea a drop fell into the water and took its shape These were the thoughts of Saint Tulsi Sahib ji from the Jai Gurudev Panth. Now let us know the thoughts of the respected Maharaj of Radha Swami Panth. Maharaj ji, uh, I would like to know that uh, has your sect originated from Radha Swami Panth Agra? Yes, it has its origin or beginning from Swami Shiv Dayal Singh ji Maharaj. From Agra, does a soul who attains salvation resides differently in Satlok or gets absorbed in Satpurush like a drop in the ocean? The soul who is liberated from the world gets absorbed in the lap of his supreme father in the same way as a drop merges in the ocean. These were the views of the Maharaj of Radha Swami Panth. Let us know the thoughts of Jagat Guru Tatvadashi Saint Rampal Ji Maharaj. they say there is only light in satlok only brightness there is no satpurush and when the soul reaches there it gets absorbed in it like a drop in the ocean just like dying by drowning so by souls first no one will have interest that they go die by drowning in it merge in it A clear example is if someone says that God is in the ocean, go and jump. How many will die then? Few innocents might do it. Otherwise, any sensible person would say it is told that we will see God. His hair follicles have brightness equivalent to millions of suns and moons together. This has been written in God Kabir's knowledge. And the liberated soul who have gone there whisk on God how they would whisk the formless, and then they tell that. Savan Singh ji has narrated the story one time there was a queen named Indramati she was the disciple of god kabir first kabir sahib merged in the sea in satpurush and after that when the queen indramati went so what do they tell she went to drown now look at the words of savan singh ji santmat bhag prakash 4 on its page 264 it has been written on 264th page santmat bhag prakash for one follower as savan singh ji who is savan singh ji he is the guru ji of sacha sauda khemamal singh shah mastana balochistani this is savan singh ji follower questioned him maharaj how far is the title of saints maharaj ji savan singh ji answers we do not have such intelligence and wisdom to understand the title of saints but still listen queen indumati was during kabir sahib's time first kabir sahib merged with the lord then the queen merged when the queen went to such khand and saw the position of kabir sahib she said maharaj if you would have told me in advance that i am the eternal then i would not have unnecessarily bothered to do the worship kabir sahib replied you would not have believed at that time now we will analyze this by souls according to their knowledge according to the legislation of radha swami according to the legislation of jay gurudev if we consider that eternal god is not there is formless and only brightness only light is there how they have tried to present the truth as ignorance according to their legislation but still it's not hidden it is said chor churave tumdi ar gadde pani mein wo gadde wo upar aave no sachai chhani na now think 
according to their knowledge they say that first kabir sahib went and merged with the lord the drop fell into the sea his existence finished and then they say that the queen went and merged in that both became one then at what time did they talk how did she saw kabir sahib if there is no existence there then how did she saw the truth is that god kabir sahib himself is in the form of eternal almighty lord over there the reality is that kabir is god kabir is supreme god he is sat purush the everlasting god swami ramanand ji has said do hu thod hai ek tu aur baya ek se do aur grib da sam karne aaye ho tum mag jo God Kabir himself says hum hi al khala hai kutub gos aur peer grib das khalak dani hamara naam kabir e swami srishta mein aur srishti hamare teer das grib adhar basu kabir sahib tells i live up aur mera naam kabir and these ignorant say that first kabir sahib got absorbed later indra mati emerged then how did they discuss use your mind a little previous followers went to hell now you save yourselves the rest who are trapped by these fake gurus get rid of them and get your welfare done this time will not come again now shri tulsidas sahib ji of mathura the originator of shri jay gurudev pant is a very virtuous soul and he was a far better soul than shiv dayal but shiv dayal ji ruined himself by doing spiritual practice against the scriptures and such a pious soul got trapped there considering him to be supreme guru he also spoiled his life tulsidas has been doing satsang since 1954 the originator of jay gurudev pant of mathura and since 1954 that time his battery was charged due to worship in previous birth in 1971 he predicted about this servant On seventh September, nineteen seventy-one, he has said that an enlightened saint is now twenty years old. On seventh September, nineteen seventy-one, he predicted that he has turned twenty years old. This servant was born on eighth September, nineteen fifty-one. On seventh September, nineteen seventy-one, I had completed twenty years. Twenty-first year was to begin on eighth September. Now see, there is a book, Jay Gurudev's Amar Vani, Part Two. It has been printed from here. This is Tulsi Das Ji Maharaj. This is the first saint of the Radha Swami Pant who uses Das, otherwise all right, Singh after their name or Tara Chand. The publisher is Divya Sharma, eighty-eight Saket Colony, Mathura. It has been printed from here. The printer is Arjun Printers, Old Bus Stand, Mathura. We will read before. the 59th page on august 28th he made one prophecy look at this this is its page 59 and this is shakahari patrika on 28th august 1971 he made a prediction that the great man has been born in a small village in india and that person will become the most important person of human history he will get such great support of public that no one has got to date that great man will make the legislation from scratch and it will apply to all the countries in the world he will have one flag he will have one language now this statement consider this a prediction or a truth because predictions are about future but he has told it has already happened on august 28th he gave this statement then people asked who is he where is he tell us then he has written on 7th september means on page 50 of this book look 
शाकाहारी पत्रिका ऑन सेवेंथ सेप्टेम्बर 1971 he gave this statement on this day what did he say on 7th september 1971 he has turned 20 years old this servant was born on 8th september 1951 on 7th the servant completed 20 years and on the 8th the 21st began here he has said that angel whom people have been waiting for has 20 years on 7th september 1971 if i tell you his address then people will be after him there is no order from above right now i am waiting for the time and all the saints have waited for the time everyone will know when the time will come hail bandi chhod satguru Now by souls this servant wants to say that these great men have been measured known and tested from the spiritual point of view in 1971 the divine vision of this virtuous soul was functional and he had done good deeds in previous birth just like Nostradamus was also a virtuous soul and a resident of France god opened his divine sight based on his previous deeds so he had also told 450 years ago that in india there is a long story that falls fit 100% on this servant that he would be like this nostradamus had also told the same and now tulsidas ji has told the date as well these were virtuous soul of previous birth and even if they wouldn't have told still it was to happen these were the views of jagat guru tatvadarshi santram pal ji maharaj Now let us know the views of Jagat Guru Tatvadarshi Santram Pal ji versus the respected Maharaj of Radha Swami Pant. Maharaj ji, I would like to know that has your sect originated from Radha Swami Pant Agra? Yes, it has its origin or beginning from Swami Shiv Dayal Singh ji Maharaj from Agra. These were the views of the Maharaj of Radha Swami Pant and now let us know the views of Jagat Guru Tatvadarshi Santram Pal ji Maharaj Bolo Satgur Dev ki jai bandi chhod Kabir Parmeshwar ji ki jai bandi chhod Garib Das ji Maharaj ji ki jai Swami Ram Devanand ji Guru Maharaj ji ki jai supreme god complete brahm creator of the entire universe lord of the lineage kabir dev kabir sahib ji come from his abode immortal world satlok to provide knowledge about himself this kabir dev kabir god is the same who played the role of a weaver in Banaras Kashi city for 120 years on this earth he went back in whole body he had come in the whole body only by souls god came and gave us knowledge that we are trapped in the web of kal now by souls when we are in the shelter of the complete god satpurush kabir dev ji and chant this satnam mantra after receiving it from complete saint then the bad account is closed how does it happen like someone has got a license driving license driver's certificate and he is going through road or is going anywhere on road and an accident happens with him he is acquitted 90% as he has not committed the accident intentionally because he is a trained man he has a license and if in the accident if some damage happens due to some reason then he is not guilty in that there may be other reasons the brake might have failed steering might have failed accident may also happen due to the fault of some other person 
that licensed person is not guilty in that accident and the one who does not have a license and is driving a vehicle and if an accident happens with him first the officers check that do you have a license if there is no license then directly he gets punishment he has no protection similarly until you have not made the license you are doing worship means you have not made a guru then whatever practices you are doing good and bad deeds are being accounted because by not having a license if you are going for some auspicious work and the animal violence that happens along the path under your feet you will have to bear that because you do not have a license you might say that we do have a license because we are following a guru like someone has taken initiation from radha swami someone is initiated from satcha sauda dera sirsa someone is initiated from brahma kumari someone is associated with some other saint or sect they are the ones who make fake driving licenses they are not authorized are not saints now pious souls this point will make you uneasy that they are fake gurus this will be your ignorance because of which you feel that this saint is telling everyone to be fake fake and real will not be based on what i say their signs their knowledge will tell whether they are real or fake and this servant has told traits of all of them that they are not saints those who have taken initiation from them have an unauthorized license and when you leave this world and you will not have any protection safety by taking mantras from these gurus it would be too late at that time there you will get nothing except a repentance and crying the objective of this servant is not to criticize or comment on anyone but god has given the servant the service to tell the truth and facts so that the pious souls can become alert and come back from those fake gurus and get their true license prepared and get their protection and achieve success in this lifelong journey radha swami panth has trapped the greatest number of souls this is the sect of kal because this sect has started without a guru shri shiv dayal ji from agra this has been written in their biography that swami ji had no guru and in the nectar speech of god in sachidanand ghan brahm speech and all the saints who have found god have made it clear in their nectar speech that guru bin mala pherte guru bin dete dan गुरु बिन दोनों निष्फल हैं चाहे पूछो वेद पुराण द पर्सन हु डज नॉट हैव अ गुरु फेस इज अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रबल्स लेटर वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट द प्रीवियस गुड वर्च्यूज ऑफ दोज वर्चुअस सोल्स आर अ लॉट एंड दोज पास सोल्स हैव अटेन्ड द पोस्ट ऑफ अ गुरु सम वन हैज बिकम अ सेंट दिस इज द ट्रैप ऑफ काल they were virtuous souls in previous births their blessings have powers their way of speaking is so different from that of a common person due to which because of their previous virtues earlier charged battery accomplishments of previous birth they can put a lot of people behind them but the end of both the followers as well as there is very painful so the context is that the innocent devotees naive souls that have taken initiation 
from fake gurus and they are thinking that we have made a guru no guru should be complete knowledge should be true and your faith should also be true then it works here you will be given some parallel evidence else you will not be able to understand that what is the purpose of the servant why is he saying and is it true shri shiv dayal ji who had been in agra they grace him with titles nouns and similar names like paramdhani and param pooja the most respected poon brahm etc and he had no guru the radha swami pant bias started from shiv dayal ji which was started by shri jamal singh ji shri jamal singh ji had no order of shiv dayal ji that you start some new setup there because in 1878 shri shiv dayal ji died in 1889 shri jamal singh ji retired from the army from the military on his self will he started dera in vyas but he had no order first shiv dayal ji did not have any guru he did not have true mantras he did not have true spiritual knowledge due to which he wasted his human life and incurred the sin of misguiding millions of innocent followers now let me show a little glimpse of this radha swami pant and the branches that have emerged from it by souls the purpose of this servant is that once a person printed fake notes and he was cheating the public notes of 500 500 rupees the government got to know they put those fake and the real notes together and alerted the public that this is fake this is its identity this is original this is its identity now for this work this auspicious work if someone says that the government is criticizing the newspapers are criticizing they are telling someone's notes as fake then how much will be his intellect same to a child similarly if someone calls the efforts of this servant as criticism he can only be a child or of a child's wisdom or can be an alcoholic or could be of the same group who is printing fake notes anyone sensible will understand the difference between the fake and the real he will be saved from his loss and will discard fake and will obtain the real notes he will not be poor will not incur loss has your pant emerged from radha swami pant agra yes it is true the guru of our swami ji maharaj was associated with this cult these were the thoughts of saint tulsi sahib ji from the jay gurudev pant maharaj ji i would like to know that uh, has your sect originated from radha swami pant agra yes it has its origin or beginning from swami shiv dayal singh ji maharaj from agra these were the views of the maharaj of radha swami pant let us know The thoughts of Jagat Guru Tatvadarshi Saint Ram Pal Ji Maharaj. First, let me tell a little verbally about this sect. Sri Shiv Dayal Ji was from a Khatri family and used to live in Agra. His parents were disciples of Sri Tulsi Sahib. of hathras and shiv dayal ji also used to listen to the sermons of tulsi sahib of hathras because their home was in 
वेस्टर्न पाकिस्तान अन स्पीच ऑफ श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब वॉज रिसाइटेड देर सो ही हैड ऑल्सो बिन अ रीडर ऑफ गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब देर वॉज अ गुरुद्वारा इन आगरा इन साइड दैट द निर्मल साधुज द निर्मल पंथ वॉज दैट रन बाय द सन्स ऑफ नानक साहिब जी ही यूज टू गो इन दैट गुरुद्वारा and read the speeches and there was a saint in that gurdwara he also used to receive knowledge from him from him he learned about shabad surat as much that saint knew then with some of his own speculation some knowledge heard from others he became a self proclaimed saint after this he performed worship for several hours He used to sit for many days he did not come out for days he would go inside meaning inside a cave and did forced worship hath yoga such worship has not been told or done by any saint a cult has emerged from agra itself jay gurudev in mathura they give the same five names which are of kal which do not provide salvation and from the same sect one person like there was ram singh ji of juhi village from haryana and tara chand ji was the disciple of ram singh ji who established a separate ashram of radha swami panth in the village of dinod from Agra a sect emerged as i just told you shri jamal singh ji who became a self styled saint and established a dera in bias shri savan singh ji became a disciple of jamal singh ji the disciple of shri savan singh ji was shri balochistani shah mastana whose real name was shri khemamal he was a resident of balochistan and one was kripal singh ji both these disciples used to consider themselves to be the heirs used to consider the successor of shri savan singh ji but shri savan singh ji did not make any of them his successor he made jagat singh ji sardar his successor so both turned away from there बिकेम गुरु द्रोही श्री खेमामल जी दैट इज बलोचिस्तानी शाह मस्ताना जी एस्टैब्लिश डेरा सच्चा सौदा इन सिरसा सेपरेटली एंड देन श्री खेमामल सिंह जी मीन्स बलोचिस्तानी शाह मस्ताना जी हैड सडन डेथ ड्यू टू इंजेक्शन रिएक्शन नाउ सी हाउ डिड Shri Khemamal Singh ji die This is the book Satguru ke Parmarthi Karishmo ke Vritant first part Its collector is Shri Gurmeet Singh ji of Dera Sacha Sauda Sirsa who currently is enthroned The printer is Indra Sen Prabandhak Paramarth Upadesh Printing Press Dera Sacha Sauda Begu Road Sirsa Haryana India This is Shri Khemamal Singh ji let's look at page 31 Beparwa ji sat in the car of one follower they used to call Beparwa ji that is Khemamal ji by the name the emperor Beparwa Beparwa ji sat in the car of a follower and went to a doctor's clinic in pahadganj with him dear govind madan of sirsa city and three four more disciples accompanied see below and there he discussed with the doctor and told him that i am sick in the meantime the doctor said you will need an injection then khemamal ji said that apply it then according to the order of the doctor beparwa ji was given the injection he laid down on the bench 
हू हेमामल जी बलोचिस्तानी शाह मस्ताना बेपरवा जी लेड ऑन द बेंच ही हैड अ रिएक्शन फ्रॉम द इंजेक्शन एंड हिज फीट स्टार्टेड बर्निंग ही हैड बर्निंग सेंसेशन इन द फीट ही मेड एक्सक्यूज इन शॉर्टेड द स्लोगन ऑफ धन धन सतगुरु दैट इज ऑन एटीनथ अप्रैल 1960 एट 10:15 एम ही लेफ्ट हिज फिजिकल बॉडी एंड गॉट absorbed in the eternal world seeing the scene the doctor started sweating he wondered what would happen now the swallowers of baba ji will ruin him and will get him punished in court by accusing him of murder now look by souls a saint dies of injection reaction dam to such worship earlier He used to cure the sufferings of others, but could not save his life. What is the reason? The battery of this virtuous soul and was charged with his previous birth, but now the battery was discharged. Further, the worship was not correct. He was a disciple of Savan Singh Ji. Savan Singh Ji had the same knowledge as Shiv Dayal Ji. What misery happened to Shiv Dayal Ji? Shri Khema Mal Singh Ji, that is Balochistani Shamastana Ji, did not make anyone successor. the followers chose his successor shri satnam singh ji there was a lot of struggle the mother used to consider himself to be the heir but in the end after many days and mess satnam singh ji was made the successor of sirsa means was enthroned as the manager and another separately made jagmal wali there also millions are stuck with him now understand pai souls whoever is trapped wherever by this you can be familiar with your situation after that shri kripal singh ji who was the rebel disciple of savan singh ji became a self proclaimed saint and started his own setup in delhi One of the disciples of that Kripal Singh ji became a rebel Thakur Singh he did not get the throne of Delhi it was given to Darshan Singh ji so he started a new setup these naive souls need god anyone could mislead them who knows few things in which the name of god comes because the soul has been searching for god since the very day it has separated from him it has been at fault now pai souls indication is enough for wise people now what devastation happened to shri shiv dayal ji with that same worship which all his devotees his followers are doing so with this you will be able to easily decide what will happen to others when their chief had such a miserable condition he became a ghost he started speaking in his disciple booky then he started drinking tobacco in the same way started eating food like before and if there is some trouble on any of his disciples then they would stand in front of booky and ask the question from that ghost and the ghost used to answer so pai souls he wasted his precious human birth and passed away after trapping millions of lives in the mouth of kal now by doing wrong worship by doing unscriptural practice what disaster happened to the head of the department of radha swami chief of radha swami panth shri shiv dayal ji let me first show you this he had no guru and god says in his speech that guru bin mala pherte guru bin dete dan guru bin dono nispal hai te pucho ved puran shri shiv dayal ji used to provide five mantras omkar rarankar jyoti niranjan soham and satnam these must be chanted together chanted together like omkar arankar jyoti naranjan soham satnam they say satnam also must be chanted so they do not have any intelligence they had no knowledge children also have better knowledge than them i will show their knowledge to you 
and they became a saint amongst the blinds the blind became chief and god says that ande ki ba gayi ande ne ye marak kaun batasi now see what tragedy happened to shri shiv dayal ji who is called the originator of radha swami pant who drowned such a large community look at his biography जीवन चरित्र स्वामी जी महाराज राधा स्वामी ट्रस्ट फ्रॉम स्वामी बाग राधा स्वामी दयाल्स मर्सी लाइफ कैरेक्टर ऑफ राधा स्वामी साहे द ऑथर इज लाला प्रताप सिंह सेठ ही वॉज द यंगर ब्रदर ऑफ शिव दयाल जी दे वर थ्री ब्रदर्स द यंगेस्ट बॉज दिस प्रताप सिंह सेठ द पब्लिशर इज राधा स्वामी ट्रस्ट स्वामी बाग आगरा सी दिस इज श्री शिव दयाल जी वॉट हैज बिन रिटन अबाउट हिम परम पुरुष पूर्म धनी हुजूर स्वामी जी महाराज इट हैज बिन पब्लिश फ्रॉम राधा स्वामी ट्रस्ट स्वामी बाग आगरा द प्रिंटर इज अर्पन प्रिंटरी राधा स्वामी चेंबर्स भालेज रोड आनंद नाउ आई विल शो दैट स्वामी जी हैड नो गुरु सी ऑन पेज ट्वेंटी एट जीवन चरित्र स्वामी जी महाराज ऑन पेज ट्वेंटी एट स्वामी जी महाराज हैड नो गुरु एंड नीदर डेड He took mantra from anyone about spirituality. Now, what misfortune happened to him? See this on page number seventy-eight and verse number seventy-one. Now, Bukki ji, who was the younger sister of Shibbo ji, some condition is being written. She came in the shelter of Swami ji Maharaj some time after Shibbo ji. Swami ji Maharaj. used to drink hookah tobacco pipe after getting free reciting the sermons this shiv dayal ji used to drink tobacco while doing practice so while he sat to tell the sermons bukki ji used to suck the thumb of maharaj's feet to get charanamrit for several hours when someone wanted to prostrate and try to move her then the one who bowed was told that to bow on to the other feet and now the devotees of radha swami pant ask another person they ask does your guru ji permit to touch his feet so our followers say that yes our guru ji permits us to touch feet then radha swami followers say that the identity of a complete guru is that a complete guru will not let anyone touch the feet and this bukki used to suck his thumb and when others used to come to prostrate they were told to bow on the other feet so this is the legend folklore they are not even familiar with their own sect they are unaware about themselves now let us look forward do not move this thirsty soul and bow to another foot When Swami Ji Maharaj disappeared, that is when Shiv Dayal Ji died. Then the condition of Bukki Ji was such that she used to lay unconscious day and night, and for two two days she would not even go to toilet. That is, she did not even go to freshen up. She did not go to the toilet and would remain at the feet of Surat Swami Ji Maharaj. Now we are reading on page eighty. This condition continued for about one and a half month. Everyone feared that she might leave this body. Then Swami Ji Maharaj appeared in front of Bukki and told her that, like you used to serve earlier, in the same way you serve. And then, from the same day, Bukki Ji also used to prepare food. Like earlier, she used to make food for Shiv Dayal Ji. and at my house in panni gili like before she used to spread sheet and fill tobacco the author is pratap singh ji the younger brother of shiv dayal ji he says that at my house in panni gili she also used to prepare bhog as before and would spread bed sheet and started filling tobacco and that bed is still laying as used to serve wholeheartedly peshtar means earlier when he was alive in the same way she started doing all the activities and swami ji maharaj used to directly appear to her at the time of meditation and used to accept 
her services in the same manner. Now, see this. He used to enter in Bukki and drinks tobacco, ate food through Bukki and while sitting on the same cot, Bukki used to drink hookka means Shiv Dayalji after entering in Bukki used to accept complete service in the same way as before. As he used to accept Peshtar means before he left and before dying. He used to eat food and drank tobacco after eating food. Then he entered the body of that Bukki. That girl Bukki used to cook and ate on her own. The ghost ate via her body and drank tobacco. Earlier she did not drink tobacco. But later she started Shiv Dayalji, the head of Radha Swami's sect, became a ghost and entered in her disciple Bukki's body as a ghost and in the same way he used to drink tobacco through her and ate food and was present in Bukki ji till her last breath. He remained present in her as a ghost till she died when someone had to request something to Swami ji Maharaj then he used to request through Bukki ji. Suppose if someone had to ask a question from Swami ji then he would speak in front of Bukki ji. Then ghost used to speak that Shiv Dayalji in Bukki. Oh my God. That is while practicing Bukki ji used to make Swami ji Maharaj evident and, and used to converse. It is said that at the time of meditation, Bukki ji used to make Swami ji evident and then used to speak. This is their false narrative. These activities show that ghost was speaking in her. Now look forward, even when this fearless person used to get nervous at the time of the crowd and somehow the mind did not work, that is if any problem came and got nervous, then through Bukki used to take orders from Swamiji Maharaj, did internet get installed in Bukki ji, which was not connected in his brother or anyone else. That ghost came in her entered her body and then started speaking as ghost speak. Like the Brahma Kumari sect, it is run by a ghost. In the same way he comes and speaks, similarly he started speaking in her. Then through Bukki ji, Swami ji Maharaj's command was taken. This writer is saying the author is his younger brother of Shiv Dayal ji. As was the order, the person used to act accordingly. So, why did he not become talk with Pratap Singh, Bukki was only conversing. This ghost used to speak from within her. Now it is said, whatever was the order the person used to act accordingly, the author says that whatever was the order of that ghost, I also used to act further according to his orders. And similarly, Rai Sahib, this Salagram who started the Radha Swami Pand separately, he also took orders through Bukki ji. Two, four times he had received orders. All throughout life, only two, four times he obtained. The ghost used to speak in her. Now, pious souls, Garib Das Ji Maharaj has said, Satgur Purus Kabir hain ye charon yug parwaan Ye juthe guruwa mar gaye ho gaye bhoot masan All these false gurus become ghosts. And only God Kabir comes in these four eras. There is proof in the Satyug God came by name Sat Sukrit, complete God, in Treta by the name of Munindra, in Dwapar by the name of Karunamaya, and Kalyug by the name Kabir. Someone should be there to ask from the devotees of this Radha Swami sect. That they say he was born in the year 1818. Do you have some history of your Paramdhani saint before that? You call him Paramdhani. Did he come before in any era? Is there any history? No. And the Vedas testify that Almighty God comes in every era and he provides true spiritual knowledge to his devotees. Now, I will show you the fake knowledge of these fake cults and their false mantras. Now, by souls, until the sermon provided by them and the mantras are not brought face to face, 
before you and then i will tell the correct mantra as to who all saint chanted which all mantras and it is proven that they attained salvation the devotees have been glorifying them for a long time now i will show you a glimpse of their false knowledge god says jhootha gyan ye dhyan kahlao ye baat bida chaturai look at this this is a book sarvachan radha swami nasar means vartik radha swami dayal's mercy radha swami sahe sarvachan radha swami nasar means vartik which has been narrated by the sacred mouth of param purush poorn dhani swami ji maharaj shiv dayal ji has spoken these words which are being made face to face before you which has been printed with respect by radha swami trust the publisher is radha swami trust swami bagagra the printer is the coronation press chilliant road agra c sarvachan nasar means vartik part 1 on page 2 we will see here the second part we will see the matter of our interest will read of our interest only the only work is that humans should send his surat means soul to its treasure and exit from where the soul has come means destination satnam and radha swami here they call satnam as the place mukam means place they call radha swami also a place now look forward we are reading part 1 of sarvachan vartik on page 3 you read on page number 1 this was second number now we will read the third all the priests preachers incarnations and prophets have been in every religion all of them based on the power of their worship have moved inwardly towards the destination and not everyone reached the destination most of them on level 1 an ordinary person understands manzil manzil means place here the meaning of one has been given place manzil means place look here manzil one the translation is done manzil means place so they have told that only saints have reached manzil means place means satnam went on the fifth level to satnam this satnam is also proved to be a place rare saints have reached on the eighth level means to the post of radha swami manzil now here radha swami is a place satnam is also a place now look at speech number 4 now it should be understood that the post of radha swami is the highest level and this is the name of the lord of the lineage and of true sahib and true god now from this level below radha swami level two levels below this point that is two places below radha swami is satnam's destination here are two places is manzil satnam and here it is told manzil means place and here mukam satnam they are telling satnam as mukam on page 2 and on page 4 also they are telling satnam as place look forward now what do they tell in the fourth speech it should be understood the post of radha swami is the highest place and this is the same name of the lord of the lineage and of true sahib and true god and below this place means below the radha swami place two places below is the level of satnam means call satnam a place is the place of satnam is the place of the place understand their knowledge carefully what do they want to tell satnam they are telling place and mukam means place is the place of place further they have defined satnam in detail now the satnam which saints have also called as satlok satnam is also called sachkhand also satnam is sar shabad also sat shabad is satnam also satnam is satnam satpurush is also explained to be satnam now he was to become a ghost when his knowledge is like this
To know more about this, you should visit www.jagadgururampalji.org. And you can also visit Sant Rampalji Maharaj and Satlok Asram YouTube channel.